Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, thank y'all so much for the love on the last episode and this series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, please don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And also, you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Guys, I wanted to give y'all a, a small update before we went on today's adventure. As y'all can see here, I've done a little bit of renovations to the base. I'm not sure if I showed this on the last tour or the last video but i did want to give you guys a little update because some stuff has changed i did a little bit on the live stream and i basically wanted to open up the sides so that my brontos and my various animals like my mammoth can get on the side here and i can transfer items in and out without worrying i've got a couple compost bins we've been making a lot of fertilizer and that is going to be good when we decide to go re-assault that cave if that's even a word re-assault uh, but all of the compost is building up into fertilizer and it's going really really good so when we uh we're going to use some custom recipes i think the next time we invade that cave uh i want to get a team together uh, a few of the other server members have expressed interest into going down there and i think we'll be able to team up and go down there and take it on sooner or later Another thing is Slipgator has said that I should we should probably tame a Sarko inside there. So that's what I want to do today. I want to head out down there today. Actually, I'm going to head down the river. If I look at the map here, the river that's southwest of me that goes all the way down to where that cave is, I think I'm going to travel that looking for a Sarko and see if we could bring one inside. If not, I'm going to go inside and check to see if I can find those Sarkos that were originally there and tame one of those. Um, as a go between or maybe even something to travel in and out of there i don't know if it can make it in all the holes or not but i think it should be good I've been collecting a lot of armor and stuff, you guys. Last time I left, I lost all the armor. And you'll see here, I do have some damaged armor on me right now. But check all of this out. Hold on, I'm in the wrong one. Check all of this out. I have a backup set ready to go. So if I die, I could just jump back into here and get all of the armor and my weapons and my tools back. Plus, look at this thing right here. This journeyman pike. Holy cow. Somebody found this blueprint and I've gone to the... Um, the community area that we put all of our best blueprints and i've got the journeyman pike i've got a ramshackle metal pick and i've got some really really good statistics that i'm going to mouse over for you quickly on all of these armor pieces to kind of show you all of the good stuff that we've done um as far as the collection effort from the community so it's really good but i want to make my way into the cave today and try to tame one of those sarcos so i'll meet you guys when i find a sarco or when i get to anything interesting all right you guys here i am again i know it's against my better judgment but i decided to come anyway there's so many snakes here the snakes really aren't the problem it's the swarms of bats uh this is the reason that i didn't bring amber hog down here too not only can't she fit past this but when a swarm of bats get a hold of you and your maneuverability is limited it's really really hard to be able to do and that's the whole reason that i'm getting a sarco for this cave because i think a sarco can fit through here if not they should be able to fit around here i'm not too sure what the limitations are going to be but a sarco tamed inside of this will definitely yield a better result i'm sure i'm going to avoid some of this stuff if i can and just go a little bit further down of course i won't be able to avoid these spiders and stuff and i don't want to bypass any loot as far as the loot drops are concerned um let's see oh i got them all this pike is vicious man it really is hopefully i can find a good spot to uh to tame the starco and i gotta eat a little bit because oh it's not cold right here good i don't really need much much health regen so i'm not gonna fill up totally but I'm going to traverse into here deeper and hopefully we'll get a chance to tame a Sarko, guys. Stay tuned and we'll be back. All right, you guys, here's one of the reservoirs inside. I'm hoping that I can find a Sarko in here, although I don't see any right now. It's just Mega Piranha. Let's see. I do have my arrows equipped. What's that splashy stuff? Oh, I guess that's just where the, uh, the water is splashing up. I got to make sure there's not too many mega piranha and that i can get out relatively quick there is a blue loot drop there i don't want to rush in though okay oh i knew they were around here somewhere there's three three's not too bad i can deal with three 
All right. It looks like I got them all. Whew. Okay. Let's go down and see what's in the loot crate. Oh, my God. An apprentice cloth? Really? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot better than regular cloth, but <laughs> I guess I'll take it. I mean, you might as well. But, man, I really wish I'd find, like, a yellow drop in here or something. But no sarcos in this pool. I guess I'll progress further into the cave. All right, guys. I'm where the sarcos hang out. Let's see if we could find one. I see a piranha. That shouldn't be too hard to take. Okay. Let's get him. Uh-oh. Come on, aim. There's a lot of them. It looks like they're kind of glitched out, which is okay by me. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I like this. <laughs> Gives me a fighting chance. 36. Okay, there's three more piranha. I got to get a little bit closer without getting in the water. Okay, there's another one. There's another one. What is going on? <laughs> How weird. Okay. Uh, let's check our health. Stamina is really, really low. Let's let stamina race up a little bit. All right. Back into the water we go. We down 13 food. There's a piranha. He's dead. No problem. Sarko here. Oh, is that a tail? I think it is. Oh. Come on, piranhas. Let me do. Okay. What level is it? A level 51. Holy cow, this is going to be really hard, you guys. Really, really hard. I have to make sure that my health situation is good, which I really can't heal too much. I'm just going to have to go for it. All right. Here we go. Let's arm up. And okay, we got its attention. Come on, baby. Come on out your hole. Huh, maybe it's stuck. We would only be so lucky. Of course, still underwater would be hard. Oh, there it is. Sticking it. It's having trouble getting to me. All right, level 51, baby. <laughs> Run. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to play Ring Around the Rosie with this guy. Yeah, baby. Yes, yes, yes. You can't get through here, can you? Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Is it really going to be this easy? That does scare me a little bit, though, because what if it... What if it gets stuck? Was that its dying breath? Ah, it's unconscious. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man, that was easier than I thought. Damage 490 out of 800. All right, we're going to have to give it some food. Um, health 490 out of 800. Yep, let's give it some food. So we should be able to force feed it right a, quite a bit. Let's force feed it all the way up. Give it some like this. And that is going to bring it up quite a bit. Let's do one more. This area seems pretty safe. So hopefully I can get this guy tame. 785, 790. That's it. He's at 800. And taming effectiveness hasn't started yet because he hasn't eaten voluntarily. So let's go ahead and access his inventory. We'll put up all the narcotics on it. Torpor seems to be going down really, really slowly. That should be good. What we want to do is we want to make sure that he gets prime meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit further into the cave and try to get some prime to feed this guy. 
All right, you guys, I got a little bit of prime meat from a Titan boa, and it should, the Sarko should be ready to eat a little bit. What's its food at? Food is at 2478 out of 2550, but we need to store this as soon as possible. So we're going to go ahead and put everything on it and let it continue eating and we're going to go hunt for prime meat as we go unfortunately 16 seconds is not going to do it that one's not going to make it we just kept it on us too long the bad thing is the prime meat is a little bit far away so the taming effectiveness isn't going to be the best that it can be but it's already a level 51 sarco so a 51 plus 18 heck man even if it was zero taming effectiveness 51 wouldn't be too bad at any rate i'm just interested in getting it tamed quickly so i don't die from cold actually it's not cold right here so that's pretty darn good uh i don't want to go hungry either so I don't know, guys. I think what we're going to do is go hunting for a little bit more prime meat, try to conserve as much energy as possible, and get this sucker tamed. All right, here's a few boas. Do it without losing too much energy. We'll be much, much better off. All right. Oh. I knew it was too soon. It's so dangerous taking off your, uh, your weapon over here. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Give us that prime meat. That's four, five. <laughs> Probably more than I need at this point. Okay, let's go back and feed the Sarko. Actually, after we kill this piranha. Level 66. Okay, we should be fine. Back to the Sarko. All right, you guys, this has been such a roller coaster. Check it out. The temperature has gotten to a point to where I am not losing food anymore so if i use raw meat it drops my health but it still feeds me now i'm at 237.3 and my food is not full yet but my health is continually regenerating so as long as i get full i'm just going to use it three more times that should fill up my health or my food almost all the way my health should regenerate hopefully before it turns too cold all the way to 300 talk about surviving by the skin of my teeth other than that check out the sarco stats really really close to taming you guys i'm super excited about this if worse came to worse i could l unload all of my stuff onto my sarco and then let it fall behind but I think it'll be okay because like if I died and the Sarko would have all the stuff, I could just come back with a fresh load of supplies and get back to the Sarko. But I think I'll be able to make it out on the current amount of food and items that I have now. Uh, the Sarko may be able to traverse back with me a good portion of the way too, which means the survivability is going to be much increased. And not to mention, I don't know if I'll let y'all, uh, I told y'all yet, but... I brought a Sarko saddle. Where's it at? <laughs> there it is. Not only just a Sarko saddle, a ramshackle Sarko saddle. So this guy should be really, really good. As far as the name, I'm still trying to think of what I'm going to name it. I don't want to get too attached before it's actually tamed, though. So I'll be back when this guy is about to go. All right, guys. Any second now. As soon as he feeds, it should be ours. Where's it at? Oh, as soon as it counts down, 25, 2.0, 1.6, 1.3. Oh, yeah. And you know what we're going to name him? Leatherhead. <laughs> Off of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I don't know if you guys know uh exactly if if y'all are old enough to appreciate teenage mutant ninja turtles but i guess they're still a thing we tamed them at level 68 and we gonna just throw a saddle rider on him okay oh where's my saddle I always forget okay sarko saddle bam done okay we're gonna take the narcotics off of him and we're gonna load him up with meat now i don't have any cheaty meat on me and that's something that i'm going to want to give him but I want to see how maneuverable this guy is through um, through the dungeon, or through the cave, I should say. We might as well call it a dungeon, a gauntlet. That's what it feels like. All right, let's get all of this stuff off. And we should be good to go. Okay, 
So I've never actually rode a Sarko before, I don't think. So it looks like he's kind of stuck. Oh, where the crystals are. Maybe I could just tell him to follow me. Follow? Um... Disable follow, enable follow. There we go. All right. Come on, Leatherhead. Will you come? Can you come? I hope. Or are you stuck? Don't tell me you're stuck right there. That would be so bad, man. That really would stink. Uh, let's try. Oh, no. Hey, <laughs> we're out now. We're out. Y'all done messed up. Okay, his turning radius is rough. And so he is his maneuverability. Hmm, I don't even know if I can get out of here to tell you the truth, guys. Okay, so let me try to turn around right here. So it looks like I can maneuver a little bit. The center point seems to be where I'm, I'm at, actually. Let's see if I could get through here. It doesn't look like I could get through here. What about making him follow me over here? No, he can't get out. Holy cow, so he can only go further in. Well, this is sort of a storage facility halfway in, and I should be able to go down into the water there. Let's see. So I can't bring him out of the cave. I can only bring stuff to him. But that's kind of what we thought anyway. So if we go down here... Oh man, we swim so fast with him? And he doesn't have an oxygen meter. Oh, this is going to be great for the water. Uh-oh. Mega piranhas. And we killed it. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't. Is it dead? Oh, these piranhas are so weird. Okay, Sarko killed it. Perfect. And there's a snake right there. So the maneuverability is a little bit fickle. It's going to be semi-problematic. But he should be able to move around a little bit, I'm thinking. Titan Boa? Uh-huh. Get him, Leatherhead. Get him. Get the piranha. <laughs> yes! Yes! That's a good gator. <laughs> Did you just burp? Good boy. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be very interesting. But I can get through most of these things. Can he go through here? Please tell me he can get through there. Oh, man. I don't think he can, y'all. And there's bats up ahead. It looks like he's a little bit too big. Because I can't, I can't go any further than this. Oh, that stinks so much, man. Why? It's because of that overhang? Well, these caves sure are meant to be difficult. Well, that was going to be my crowning achievement. At any rate, we do have a Sarko in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> now, holy cow, man. I can't believe. Well, let's see. Maybe I can revalue. I'm going to mess around and try to get him out of here, you guys. And, uh, and I'll bring you guys back with the status update. Guys, Leatherhead is sad. We can't go past either place. We're stuck in between a rock and a hard place. It's terrible. This was such a great idea. And we failed miserably. So, I can't get past those overhangs over there. And I can't get through this V right here. Like, he won't go past here. Leatherhead won't go on either side. Which is so unfortunate. So... He'll be some sort of suitcase as we pass in between. That's so sad, though, isn't it? Like, it's so bad. But I'm going to leave some of the supplies that I have here currently. I think this armor would probably be a good supply to leave on him as, like, a refill. We're going to leave some hide here. We're going to leave some chitin here. I don't think we'll need that for anything. We're going to leave some thatch, a little bit of fiber, some flint. 
and a little bit of stone because we don't need it for anything, right? And next time we come in, we'll be a little bit more full and maybe we can leave it on him. I don't have any cheaty meat on him, but he's going to be good for a little while. He's got a lot of meat here. So hopefully he can survive for a long time. As far as survivability is concerned, I think you guys see what I'm afraid of here. It looks like my health is dwindling. I'm going to have to get out of here and get out of here fast, guys. I've messed around long enough. So hopefully I don't run into too much trouble on the way out. If I do, I might just turn around and leave Leatherhead with all of my armor. Anyway, guys, I'm going to continue to try to get my way out, and I'll bring you back in when it gets interesting. All right, you guys, talk about a pickle. So if I go any further up here, it looks like I start freezing and I start dropping health, right? If I come down here, I'm not dropping health. So this is the situation. My health is at 173, and it's going up. I only have four cooked meat left on me and no means to make a fire. But watch this. Raw meat, use item. Hunger is at, food is at 22, health is at 179. Food increases, health decreases. Food increases, health decreases. Food increases, health decreases. Food increases, health decreases. But watch this. 160.2. One sixty one point seven. We're going back up so we can eat raw meat as long as the temperature doesn't change here. <laughs> and there's another Titan bow that I can harvest if I run out of meat, but that's not going to happen. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to regen and hopefully I can make it out of here soon. <sighs> it looks like I made it, you guys. Holy cow. What an adventure. Four meat cooked, four cooked meat still left. If I can get across this little piece of bridge, I should be in the clear. Let's go up here. And an Amber Hawk should be waiting for me around the corner. Oh, come on, baby. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Amber, it's so good to see you. Holy cow, man. Oh, I cannot believe. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> um, come with me. We shall go outside and fly home where it's safe. <laughs> nice and safe. Unfortunately, guys, the Sorco is kind of pointless. But we do have some supplies left on it, so it's a good go-between. And honestly, we may be able to burden ourselves a little bit more. I'm thinking about maybe getting a couple of Dillos to come with us. Maybe Dillos can swim okay? I don't know. Up until the point to where the croc is, um, we might be able to transfer a little bit of items um, you know, with the team of us and stuff and finally beat this cave. But... I hope y'all enjoyed the episode, you guys. I sure had a lot of fun. And next time we come back, maybe we can mess around with a couple dillos. Or, I don't know. <laughs> maybe we'll do something else. But, at any rate, guys, that's going to be it for today. If y'all enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, you can always subscribe for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time.